and booyah! <laughs> Hello everyone! God here with another Godcast. I hope everyone had a lovely week. You know, I've been watching all of you, which is sort of what I do. Uh, I'm a bit of a voyeur, if you will. <laughs> Not in a creepy way. I've noticed a lot of crazy news stories this week I'd like to talk about. Uh, I saw that there was an outbreak of E. coli at a Taco Bell. <laughs> it was a bit obvious to me uh, from their latest promotion, the uh, cheesy, meaty, bloody diarrhea crunch, but uh, maybe that's just me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I saw that Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston broke up finally for real. <laughs> you know, I have a prediction. I, I bet she's just going to run back to Ross. Because really, Jennifer, he loves you and you really should be together. <laughs> I saw that a woman was putting up her Christmas tree this year and there was a bat living inside of it where the bat flew out and bit the woman. Now, <laughs> you know, I don't want to accuse anyone but this smells like the work of that Jack Skellington, if you ask me. But this does help her family this year in finding that perfect gift, rabies shots. You know, I saw that a rapper accused Oprah Winfrey of becoming a white woman. I also heard that moments after that news went public, Oprah Winfrey got a call from Michael Jackson because apparently he's been trying to do that for years and he wanted some tips. So good luck with that, MJ. <laughs> now I'm going to do a bit this week on the on my Godcast. Uh, uh, in the Bible, uh, you might remember the story of, of Noah where I called upon Noah to build an enormous ark and get two of every animal and put them on the ark because I was going to flood the earth. Because quite frankly, back in those days, everyone was a big jerk. Now, you may think there is a lot of jerks on the earth now, and there really are. But, back in those days, everyone was a colossal jerk. Now, it doesn't say this in the Bible, which is what this bit is about. But I did give Noah a specific list of animals. I didn't make him take all the animals, because frankly, a lot of the animals I created weren't really working out that well, so I gave him a list and now for the first time ever, I'm going to show you some pictures of the animals that were, were left on the earth and disposed of in that giant flood. I'm calling this bit Omitted Animals. Animals omitted from the ark, they ain't gonna get on now. Thanks a lot Paul, Paul Schaefer everyone. The first animal I'm going to show you didn't work out because it really it couldn't get around very well and it really just creeped people out. Uh, it's the fly thorn. You can see where it's a bit a bit weird. Now I'm sure everyone is familiar with the uh, American bald eagle. Well, he had a close cousin back in the back in the old days, the American comb over eagle. Not as popular as the as the bald eagle. This animal was just weird. I <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I when I made this animal, um, but it's the I can't believe it's not a butterfly. I wanted to make a butterfly with with uh, less fat, and uh, <laughs> I don't know why. No, I had such success with my centipede and my uh, millipede. I wanted to go uh, wanted to go the opposite way with it, so I created this the unipede. But it was just a little weird. No, I created a lot of fish. Uh, but one in particular, one fish that uh, really I thought I probably could nix was this one, the, uh, the MC Hammerhead Shark. This animal was a lot funnier in the 80s to be quite honest. Now the final animal on the list, I actually crossed two animals. I, I took a whale and I crossed it with a jackass and I got this animal. One of them got through I think, I think one of them got on the, on the ark. <laughs> a lot of people uh, have been sending me emails and they've been asking me things on the comments page on my MySpace page, which everyone should do. Now Smirnoff wanted to know if uh, if I really disapproved of of heavy metal music. And no, I love all music. You know, <laughs> I just not a big fan of of country, but that's just a personal preference. I, I'm not against it. Just 
not what I'm into, you know, it's so, so depressing. And Brainlock, apparently is his name, wanted to know if I ever doubted myself, would the universe cease to exist? Well, I do have several fail-safes <laughs> initiated so that something like this doesn't happen. You know, everyone has doubts at times about what they're doing, and uh, I feel what helps me a lot is Paxel. Now, one of the comments I got was from Cami in Dallas. She, uh, she noticed on my MySpace page that it said I was millions of years old, but she pointed out that scientists have proven that the universe is actually billions of years old, so if I created everything, I must be much older. Well, I, I'm going to come clean, everyone. You caught me in a fib. I, I was fibbing about my age. I mean, who doesn't do that, right? I didn't want everyone to know how old I actually was, but yes, I am in the billions, and well, here's my, my creator's license, just to show you. <laughs> Look at that picture. Was I ever that young? <laughs> Hopefully, everyone will have a great week, and I will see you in one week with another wonderful Godcast. And <laughs> me bless. <laughs>